Okay. Good morning, Bhante. So um, we thought to uh, resume our uh, discussion with you this year. We did about six uh, sessions last year. And um, so we want to kind of tailor made um, this year discussion towards our uh, young generation. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, Sri Lankans and the others, uh, those who are in professions such as doctors, young doctors, young engineers, uh, lawyers and others uh, working like 10 to 12 hours a day. And uh, per week, instead of 40 hours, they clock like 65 hours. Okay? So that means they build a lot of stress. And uh, some of them they have been using to relieve the stress. Uh, they have been going on YouTube and whatnot to see uh, are there any cure and medication for, to get the stress out of their body. The one is mindfulness. So uh, today, the purpose of the today's session is to actually get to the truth of the mindfulness, learn from the, one of the best teachers in the world. That's you, Bhante. So we have today to honor to meet you. So um, for the benefit of our new audience, we have so 12,000 subscribers in our YouTube. Uh, we are going to quickly introduce you and the center here. So before we start our discussion with mindfulness today, may I have your permission to do a quick intro, Bhante Ji? This is for the benefit of new in listeners and sub subscriber to the Bhavana YouTube uh, media. Yeah, so today we are here at the Bhavana Society Center in beautiful High Bay, West Virginia, with, with most venerable Hienapula Gurratana Mahanaika Thero, uh, to share his life experience in remarkable journey of the mindfulness and clear comprehension. It, it's a great pleasure, privilege, and excitement for me to introduce most venerable Hienapula Gurratana Mahanaika Thero. We are very fortunate to have time with the 96-year-old Mahana Ekatero, uh, who is the founder of the Bhavana Society in Highview, West Virginia, uh, which is a renowned meditation center that serves as a sanctuary for the practice and study of Theravada Buddhism since 1982. This center provides comprehensive facilities and a conducive environment for monks and lay people to deepen their practice. It conduct residential meditation programs throughout the year and offers free accommodation for those who are seeking personal spiritual growth. Most Venerable Gunratna Thero guided many monks and lay people, establishing several temples and meditation centers around the world. His assistance in founding the Birken Forest Monastery in Canada and the principal Theravada Buddhist Center in Uganda are notable examples. He also directly supported Buddhist temple in Sweden, Maryland, and Austin, and influenced many notable monks, including Venerable Bhikkhu Bodhi and Venerable, Venerable U. Silananda. Uh, his authorship, uh, Mindfulness in Plain English, uh, a seminal work that has become a classic in the field of mindfulness and meditation guiding readers in developing a practice of mindfulness. Eight Mindful Steps to Happiness, a, comprehension, a companion book that further explores the path to inner peace and happiness through mindfulness, a path of serenity and insight, and the jhanas in Theravada Buddhist meditation, additional significant contribution to the Buddhist literature. Journey to Mindfulness, an autobiography that chronicles his journey and techniques, providing inspiration and insight into his life and philosophy impact. Banteji's books have been translated into multiple languages and have sold millions of copies globally, influencing both lay people and scholars. His writing style is characterized by simplicity and clarity, making profound teaching accessible to broad audience. A profile, uh, a prolific author, uh, Venerable Gunratana Thero has written extensively in English, making significant contribution to the global dissemination of the Buddhist teaching. Some of his acclaimed works include The Path of Serenity and Insight, 1985, Mindfulness in Plain English, 1991, A Critical Analysis of the 
Jhanas in Theravada Buddhist Meditation, 1999. Eight Step to Happiness, Walking the Buddha Path, 2001. Journey to Mindfulness, the Autobiography and of Bhante Ji, 2003. Beyond Mind Mindfulness in Plain English, 2009. The Four Foundation of Mindfulness, 2012. What Makes the Buddhas Great, 2014. Meditation on Perception, 2014. Loving Kindness in Plain English, 2017. What, Why, How, 2019. Start Here, Start Now, 2019. Dependent Origination in Plain English 2023 and more books to come. This work has received international acclaim helping to spread the Buddhist teaching across the globe. Venerable Gundatana Thero's unwavering dedication and clear presentation of Dharma continue to inspire both monastic and lay communities around the world. With that, uh, we are going to get into our the main theme of the mindfulness. So we have three sections. Each section we have planned to spend 30 minutes, Bhante. And um, uh, we have very simple question broken down to each question, broken down to uh, sub question to make it simple. Uh, you might, uh, we might find answers uh, in the previous one. So we will make sure that we don't repeat in the following one. So that can happen. So a uh, quick, uh, we have a guest today, a quick introduction of Mariana, who is with me today. Uh, she's an native of Ukraine. Uh, she came from Chicago today. Welcome, Mariana. Uh, and uh, she's very f uh, fond of Buddhism and she's learning now smartly to grasp the mindfulness. Uh, so she and I will be joining Most Venerable Mahanayaka Thero to start the discussion on mindfulness.